Guys, today we are figuring out what is the definitive best anime opening of all time. And I have this website right here where it's gonna be a bracket style tournament where two anime openings go head to head with each other. And you guys get to vote which anime opening is better and they, then they move on to the next tier, the next bracket, okay? We're gonna do a round of 32 different battles. And then it's gonna go down to 16, then eight, then four, then one on one. For the YouTube frogs out there, um, the openings might sound a little bit different because I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb to them. And obviously YouTube, they're not gonna let me show all these openings in full. So we're gonna play a small clip of the actual opening and then we're gonna talk about it then vote Okay, that's how it's gonna work. Sorry for taking my bike Yeah, and that's why you need to join if you guys were here on twitch You would listen to uh, the full opening and you're mad like oh, well, why wasn't this opening here? Why was that opening back? And get to choose the openings. Okay, we just use this website So how it works you type one to vote on the left anime type two to vote on the right anime And you only get to vote once okay, and you cannot change your answer and you type one and it was like, oh well, well now I want to choose ranking of king opening two. You can't do that. I say wait until the very end, listen to both openings, and then make your decision. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of heavy metal or like this type of rock music, okay? But low key, this shit kind of goes hard. Just wait for the drop though, guys. So let's hear it. Oh my god, I want to start crying right now, bro. Come on, the drop. I'm such a sucker for drops, bro. That was the rumbling, and now ranking of king. The visuals are pretty solid. Tells a pretty good story about a show and tease what's going on. The drop they didn't feel as hard as fucking the rumbling i'm gonna be honest and maybe that's just the aot fanboy out of me i don't know I'm, I'm just i'm just making shit up at this point i swear to god i put in my vote in if you guys didn't put in your vote in then too bad okay ring king moves on to the next one i already know who's gonna win this round guys i already know it, it's uh i mean come on i think this opening is great i think the drop is pretty solid gets you hype as fuck visuals are also fucking pretty solid as well to me the drop is just isn't as good as opening one this is gonna be tough guys it's gonna be <laughs> We're always looking pretty one-sided. JoJo openings compared to, like, to all other animes, the lowest one is probably like an A. Any of the openings. Like, I love all the JoJo openings. Okay. And it's so colorful, so vibrant, and like they mix the 3D well, right? Like they, they already did like 3D and CG for the first opening, but they kept that style and made it even more vibrant, made it pop more and match with the song. I'm not surprised. It's a landslide in the voting. We got Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1 Duel Monster. And then we got Opening 1, which I'm not the biggest fan of. It's probably my least favorite opening, but still also pretty good. Yeah, this one's a little bit repetitive. It's carried by nostalgia. Not really a lot of singing, you know? Ah, it's me a little chubbed up. 0.5% chub. The beat is kind of hard. The, the rhythm's kind of cool, but like comparatively to JoJo 1's opening, which I've heard before, I think it's gonna fall in comparison. Like this one still bops, don't get me wrong, but it's my least favorite one. Maybe I take it back. Maybe he's not my least favorite. I love the singer's voice. So much testosterone, bro. I just want to pick heavy things up and put it down real quick, bro. You know what I mean? Like, goddamn. If Studio David was able to mix 2D with 3D CG with his opening and make it look clean and fluid, right? This JoJo opening actually is like probably S tier. What am I talking about? Putting my answer, guys. It's a tour. JoJo moves on to the next round. Ooh, this one might be a little bit more 50-50. Teasing you, bro. It's like, what's the drop? <sighs> oh, baby. I mean, visuals a little bit basic, like pan shots of the characters, you know, whatnot. But still, song honestly carries this opening. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of heavy metal, including also Screamo as well. But this opening, <laughs> I feel like it's hard to beat. I've heard um, this opening from Promise Neverland. Not the biggest fan. Maybe I have to re-listen to it and see. Solid, solid start to the opening. It's so hard to explain because I'm not a fucking musician. I can't articulate why I don't like an opening. Like the beep bop boop just makes me, it doesn't get me fucking rock hard. If a, if a song for a genre that I don't like is able to make me like the song and get into it while listening to it, I think that's a huge plus. I think I like Parasite's opening w way better than Promise Neverland. I'm gonna have to say a Juan. Parasite moves on to the next round. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't remember how Fairy Tale opening one starts, but Demon Slayer opening one, I don't mid, no. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can sing that. I know those words. It gives you hype for the show, but will I listen to over and over and over and over again? Probably not, but I also say the same thing with the first opening of Demon Slayer as well, right? So, uh, let's hear it. Okay, the drop got hard, though. That's the only good part, though. Like, the last few seconds of the song. Summarize this fucking battle, mid versus mid. 
<laughs> just collapse it together, okay? It's a two for me, guys. Even if I voted one, I'm not saving fucking fairy tale. Demon Slayer, opening one, moves on to the next round. Oh no. This is gonna be a landslide. I'm sorry. This one, this one's GG's. Like, do we need to vote? Do we need to vote? Do we need to vote? I don't I don't think I ever skipped this opening. I was chopped up before the show and chopped up after the show because of all the fan service, bro. Like, come on. Ooh, the drop, baby. Come on, bro. I would not be mad if Fire Force pulled a Hunter Hunter and just kept this opening throughout the rest of its adaptation. Put the song new visuals each season. Keep this song because this just shit pops, bro. And then we have shit art shit on. <laughs> All right, let's play the song, though. I know you guys are chubbed up from your nostalgia, okay? But like, come on. 100 to zero. Like, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, uh, it's a landslide. It's a, it's a straight fucking execution of Sword Art Online. I don't think the opening's bad. It, it's good, it gets you hype. Like, it's not bad, but like, oh man, you compare it to like Inferno, man, like it's just, if it was against any other, like maybe like B tier, maybe even some A tier openings, maybe has a chance. But this S plus 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 tier opening, it's impossible. It gets you hype only to be fucking disappointed. Exactly. It's a landslide. Fire Force opening one moves to the next one, okay? Whew, this one's gonna get a lot of people mad. The results, either way, is not gonna end well. Fuck, this is so hard because I like both openings, man. Okay. This the nostalgia. It's coming all back to me, bro. We have been so far down the Attack on Time journey. Like, watching this again gets me hyped, sentimental, sad, and chubbed up. <laughs> There's no way I ever describe it, bro. It's just, goddamn, this opening's just so good. And the iconic Bluebird. Bluebird is so forgettable. Mods ban that guy. I don't remember where I put this on my Naruto opening tier list. I don't think I was a huge fan of Bluebird. It's a little bit overrated. I say that because it's an S tier um, opening for a lot of people. I'm the biggest Naruto fan, guys. Literally, I know everything about Naruto. You see the symbolism in it, you know? Like, it's cool, but like, animation so far is not ending crazy, right? And they recycle scenes from like fillers, right? You know, or like the actual arc. Eh, I'm gonna put one, guys, and it seems like it's a kind of a landslide as well. All right, AOT moves to the next round. Oh, this is also gonna be a contentious one. Oh man, the classical opening one. Come on, fuck, man, this is so hard to choose. In terms of visual, it's kind of okay, but the song, bro. Yeah, this song hard carries is opening. No CG robots either. Fully 2D animated. Gotta give props. <sighs> this is hard. This is hard. Let's play mobs opening two. Wait, guys, hold, hold. I think the advantage of Code Geass is the drop starts immediately, right? And then there's a, a second additional drop to it. I mean, it starts off great and ends great throughout the, like, the whole opening. Mob takes a while to get there into its drop. And at that point, like when you're watching the anime, I don't really want to stick out a little bit longer to hear the drop. And the drop is great, but like, it's like a few seconds out the wait, you know? I think I have to give it to Code Geass, bro. It's just an unskippable opening, you know what I mean? So I'm putting one. Code Geass moves to the second round. Ooh, B Star's winning too. I love this one. Furries are crazy, but the song is fine. Look, your brother. Visuals are like kind of sporadic, but kind of crazy, but like different though, you know? It's not like the typical like character pan shit. Cast Hearn Sins, I have not heard of this opening. It just feels like an opening that is outdated, you know? Like, it's just okay. It's like, listen to it once. I think I probably would skip it. We're, we're going against Yoasobi. She's a phenomenal singer. Like, the switch up and everything and the beat in this song, I really like Beastars. I'm gonna have to go with one. And it seems like Beastars wins by landslide. Eight stay night and oh, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh, it starts off slow and somber, bro. It's like, okay, Hades, what's so great about this? It's like, okay, wait, it's picking up. <laughs> wait, what's going on here? That drop. It should be a law. If you skip this opening while watching in Vinland Saga, you should be jailed, trialed, and executed. Oh, it is so good. Next one, Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, opening one. Yeah, it's not that fair for Fate to go up against Vinland Saga, but I mean, the tournament arc, right? Okay, starts off slow. But songs that start off slow usually have a fucking crazy drop. Maybe this one has a crazy drop. I'll be surprised. Wait, no, I listened to this before. Never mind. I don't think it has a crazy drop. Wait, here it is. Hold. Hold your vote, boys. I think it's not bad, um, but comparatively to the drop for Villain Saga, I mean, what could you really do? All right, I'm gonna have to put up one. It's Villain Saga, I mean, does it have the legs to go to top four? Ooh, okay, you're lying, April and Cowboy Bebop. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. One might be a little bit more in contention, who knows? Ooh, the drop. It's an unexpected late drop. It didn't build up, so it just boom. Cowboy Bebop opening, Oof, I mean, this one's solid. So groovy. This is a little bit hard for me to decide. 
I don't know. I think the visuals for sure, your line April just clears Cowboy Bebop. Obviously, time difference, right? I like Cowboy Bebop song more. I think it's just the grooviness. I just love little groovy woovy. I might have to go with Cowboy Bebop. I might have to go against the grain here, but it's not going to move on because I don't think my vote is going to sway the voting. But uh, your line April will move on. Dom Slayer and Bleach. Oof. I am praying you guys vote for the right one here, okay? Okay, never mind. This one is kind of trash. Maybe the drop will save it. Yeah. I, I think this is one of the most iconic part. It's just this drop right here. I kind of fucking vibe with this. I got him Slayer. Okay. I don't like the um, singer's voice. I'm going to be honest. It's just like a little, see, I am. When like, like really grim and fucking horrific shit is like being portrayed in the opening. I just, I don't know. The ending to the song just felt lackluster. I mean, when it dropped, it was like, okay, it's getting good. It's like, okay, wait, this is just mid. I got to go with a one, bro. Bleach moves on to the next round. Hmm. I don't remember ReZero season two opening, but <laughs> it's 2018 vibes. It's a lot going on. I mean, drop is good, but uh, overall the song groovy. But kind of mid. But you guys haven't heard this opening? Just wait. It's not even the best part. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait, guys. Just wait. I'm full chub right now. The first half sucks. No, I don't think so. It just kind of baits you in. It's like, oh, this is a mediocre opening. It's like, okay, whatever. It's like, okay, what's going on? Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? It's like, okay, what's so special about a drop, though? Wait, what? Wait, but I'm grooving. I can't move my body. I can't control my body. The switch up, bro. Dude, goddamn, bro. I don't think necessarily ReZero opening is bad. It's mid, that's what I say. But like, I love this opening, bro. This opening carries the show yet. I, like, yeah, I, this is like one of like un unskippable openings for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's a complete stomp, bro. Go, 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 moves on. FMA and then Tokyo Ghoul. Oh, yeah. I mean, Unravel's Omega popular, but I think, yeah, Unravel's gonna take the cake. Drops okay, it's not bad. Well, I'm actually surprised the voting is this in contention. Like, I thought everyone would be like, oh, unravel. Like, I literally thought that would happen. This opening's pretty solid, pretty solid. Would I say it's mid? Yeah, probably. <laughs> but unravel, I've been saying it for a while now. I don't like Unravel that much. Like, I legitimately think it's overrated. Look back on my old, old previous videos back. When I reacted to um, the top, like, 100 openings of all time, community voted from Rini, I know it's an unpopular opinion. I think it's overrated as fuck. I don't like the drop at all. The thing is, I like the singer. It's not like I don't like his voice, because I liked um, his song in Psycho Pass, right? I love that song. I know, I know, like, people, the YouTube frogs, and some of you guys in chat right now are, like, Omega chubbed from this drop. I'm just, I just feel nothing. I, I gotta choose FMAB. All right, FMA wins. FMA beat moves on. This one also is gonna be in contention as well. All right, actually no, never mind. This this opening is kind of a damn. It takes a while to get, build up, right? I like it. Don't get me wrong. Actually, no, I think it's okay. I'm not gonna lie. I just forget this opening. The the drop and the climax of the song is so close to the end. It starts off so slow throughout the whole song until the very very end. Part five's opening. I think it clears this Attack on Titan opening. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I love fighting gold. Fighting gold. Oh. I love how they show off different characters. Like, sure, some of them are pan shots, but they have really creative and unique ways to show off all the characters and stands. Like, I, I really like the visuals of this opening, and the song is also phenomenal. Okay, thinking about it now, both openings, their actual drop kind of showed up very near the very end of the opening. Also ends off very well. I'm gonna have to go with two, guys. A lot of the votings are gonna get really, really split like this, but I cannot wait forever to decide, oh yeah, we need, at least need two votes or three votes over to decide actually which one is the more better opening, okay? Especially you, YouTube Frogs. If you weren't here, you could have voted. Why weren't you here during stream? Joe up to twitch.tv slash taking Hades. So JoJo moves on to the next round. All right, we got opening six in Steins Gate. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> It does, it's not getting any easier. Wait, Steins Gate Sleeper Anime of the Century? Sure, the first 10 episodes, but bro, come on. If you watch the whole series, there's no way you unironically say that. I'll be honest with you guys, it's not like my favorite, favorite openings. Like, I play it once or twice and skip it, right? Not anything crazy like that, you know? But JoJo opening six, I, you guys say it's Chase. I know a lot of people don't like Chase. Maybe it just gives too much Shonen vibes. But comparatively all to like the S tier rank openings from JoJo, I can see why people don't like this. I love the drop though. I'm gonna be honest, even though people say this is the worst JoJo opening, especially guys in chat right now. I just like it. <laughs> it does exude a lot of fucking typical battle Shonen vibes, but goddamn, if I ain't in a Shonen monkey. <laughs> I love Steins Gate. It's the opening. It's not always like I'm jamming to it. I think I skipped this opening maybe a few times, but I think I listened to Chase more than I did to Steins Gate when watching the series. I gotta go with a two. It seems like everyone else in chat is going with Chase as well. Let's think back. Has JoJo lost 
any of its battles. I think JoJo has made it all the way through. I would not be surprised if JoJo opening went against a JoJo opening. All right, Dragon Ball Z opening one. This is a hot take, guys. Let me know. I like Dragon Ball Z Kai English opening way better. Like, I think that's the best opening out of all the Dragon Ball openings. If this opening is being put up against JJK opening one, I mean... <laughs> We literally have to witness a murder live on Twitch.tv. I mean, dude, I'm the biggest JJK fucking cock ratter, bro. I mean, you already know me, bro. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say anything. I'll just let the music play out. Any good songs you hear over and over again, you're going to find it repetitive and boring. That's why you listen to songs sparingly. That's why you have a big playlist. You don't listen to one song on repeat until you're tired of it and you're sick of it, okay? I, even though I might fall on that. <laughs> this is two for me. Come on. This game moves on. Mm, not the biggest fan of these two opening. The show is weird. I don't enjoy it. I can appreciate the unique world it has, but God. God damn, the show is so fucking weird. Guys, this song's overrated as fuck. I'm glad someone had to say it. I'm with you, brother. Not a biggest fan of this one. Free zero, let's go. I'm not enjoying this, the middle of this, the opening, though. It's like, eh. You bring back the drop and it's bopping again, bro. It's one of those songs where, you know, listen to maybe one, two, three times, and then, like, you skip the rest, you know? I say it's a pretty mid opening. When we're comparing to No Game No Life, to me, it shits on it. Re Zero looks like it won. One might be a little bit hard as well. I'm not, I'm not gonna even key out. Compared this to all the other Bleach openings, it's mediocre at best. You guys might be splooging too early. I really like the first opening for Overlord. <sighs> fucking banging start, bro. But here's the thing though, after like listening to so many fucking uh, fantasy East Sky openings, this one sounds a little bit generic, no? You got like the fast paced like rock, but still kind of bops though. <laughs> All these guys opening singers, how much auto tune do you want? Yes. <laughs> For people who vote one, I think you just kind of splooge too fast. Like Overlord opening one, that shit kind of go. And that's what I'm gonna have to go with as well, okay? Overlord overtake leash, so that is moving on to the next round. Oh, here it is. We're getting down to nitty gritties of it, boys. Gonna be up to a point. When a Jojo opening's gonna have to go against a Jojo opening. I did not expect that to happen this quick. I love this opening. I love all the Jojo openings, bro. <laughs> Jojo clears what? Jojo clears Jojo? <laughs> yeah, Jojo win, win for sure. Yeah, you're right, guys. You're right. I thought it was gonna be a really contentious battle between Jojo and Jojo. Jojo opening seven. Is this part five? No. Oh, breakdown. Oh, so hard. So hard to choose. Two very completely different moves. What would I unironically put in a playlist? Probably breakdown because it's so groovy and so happy. I'm gonna have to go with breakdown. All right, breakdown wins, guys. Jojo moves on and beats Jojo. Jojo opening against Defna opening one. So iconic. Also, why did they switch up this opening? Like, why did they have to introduce? I hate opening two so much, bro. Like, opening two reminds me why I hate, like, Screamo and Heavy Metal. They should have kept this one throughout the whole series, bro. Just change up the visuals. Pull a hunter, hunter, bro. Like I said, one song Andy, bro. I don't think I skipped this opening. Until opening two, I listened to it once. I'm like, yeah, this is an auto skip. Fuck. All right. I love this opening so much as well. This one has some class to it, you know, at the very start. I guess. The visual lacks in this opening, except for this part. This part was pretty clean, but they were recycling some scenes from the anime. Song's pretty solid. This visual, some of the visuals are, are either hit or miss. This one's a hard one for me, but apparently not for you guys. You guys love your Death Note. Gonna have to go with the Classico Death Note. Uh, Death Note moves on. Oh, this one doesn't have the visuals. Okay, I guess let's just go find it. I think the I think the opening's okay. I kind of forgot what the other um opening is going against. Is <laughs> just good vibes. Yeah, good vibes. Happy vibes. Gets you hyped. Gets you happy for it. The, the anime not too bad but and going against mega box opening oh if this is opening one i think opening one is better than opening two for sure i don't know if this one was like a real bopper i don't think this one was it's a little bit grim and you know not like crazy animation going on i don't even think it's mid i think it's kind of eh. <laughs> so many adhd andy's slow equals a bad <laughs> this one i was not a big fan of this one nor opening two and I like Megalbox too. Like, I like the series. If this is a battle of OSTs, I think Megalbox would win. Because the OSTs, they bop and they're groovy as fuck. My vote had to go for Gurren Lagan. Gurren Lagan moves on to the next round. Jojo. <laughs> oh my god. There only can be one best Jojo opening, okay? And they're already just weeding each other out. Oh, baby. Woo. I'm a sucker for the groove. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, it's a mate. Compared to the opening four, yeah, I mean, I haven't been jamming for a while. I just been nodding my head, just shaking side to side, but this gets me going, bro. How are you gonna beat this one, you know? Anyone would be contrarian and vote for this one? Nobody, no no pity points, no pity votes. <laughs> there we go, Landon, there we go. Wait, guys, hey, guys, relax, hey! What are you guys doing? Stop, 
Stop. Stop lying through your teeth and fucking pressing two. Do not let this opening, do not let opening five die right here, please. Okay, thank you. Holy shit, you guys are scaring me. Easily, opening five. That one is gonna move on. <laughs> Taken for pretending to be unbiased. Yeah, what the fuck? Of course I'm gonna vote for Naruto. Fuck SAO. Fuck this opening. Naruto is going to take this one, okay? I don't know. But the thing is, Silhouette is not even my personal favorite. I think opening um, six, I think it's sign, is the best, in my opinion. Visual-wise, context-wise, song-wise, takes the cake. But Silhouette, I mean, come on. You guys say you, you're you tired of hearing other songs on repeat like a thousand times. This is one of the songs where I'm like, I'm so sick and tired of hearing. It gets memed out of proportions. There's so many parodies of it, you know? But it's still good, though. Still good. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Any pity votes for Sword Art Online? <laughs> We'll choose Naruto. Naruto moves on to the next round. Okay, all, all these openings I've heard. This is my favorite opening from Peace Sign. Favorite opening, MHA. God tier. Best opening out of all the MHA. Other ones, Stinky Poo Poo Kaka. Okay, there. Yeah, said my piece. Pokemon Indigo League. Let's go. Nostalgia can't carry, bro. I mean, this is the most iconic one, right? We heard it so much though. Yeah, true. But like, does it get old? Comparatively to this one to the Yugo opening, at least it has singing. At least it's catching. At least you can sing along, right? I think I have to go with two. But it seems like all you MHA heads out there are voting one. So MHA moves on. Mmm. I already know who's going to win. <laughs> Opening's kind of ass so far. How about hot take, guys? FMA? Opening's better than FMA B. Black Clover opening 10. Surprisingly, like, I thought I would see way more Black Clover openings because Black Clover openings, like I said, they just don't miss. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think there's really... Maybe there's one. I just can't remember it. But, like, all of them slaps. Like, that's where all the budget went. It's the openings. Yeah, visuals are great for this opening as well, yeah. Yeah, two. Everyone's saying two. I like both of these openings. My favorite opening out of, out of all the Black Clover openings, this one. Animation is sometimes a little bit wonky in some scenes, but, like, it's not bad, bro. It's all fucking bops. But Samurai Shampoo's opening, I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of like, you listen to it once, okay, Sunday, one night. I'm gonna skip this the rest of the time I watch it. Like, it's a good opening. Just can't put it on repeat. Can't watch it every single episode. I, I want to get into the meat and potatoes. Gotta go with the one. Seems like Black Clover has two openings for the next round. Fate and... Oh, ay, ay, ay. Fate is getting shafted, this tournament arc, man. This is not fair for Fate at all in the slightest, guys. <laughs> SoundCloud song. Okay, relax. Don't be that disrespectful, okay? Hunter, Hunter, bias. No, you can't say that. The portrait's too good. Visuals are great for uh, Fate. I, I can agree to that, you know? It's great. Maybe could have chose a better song. I don't know. <laughs> Come on! Stop. Stop playing with me, bro. Come on, the part... This is a reason why Hunter Hunter is a one song Andy. Cause this shit slaps! It never gets old, man. It never gets old! And I rest my case. Locking in a two. Oh, what an iconic fucking Omega popular song against uh, Digimon. This is the Digimon monster. Dun, 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 dun. Is that the song? If that's the one, then yeah, it's uh. Yeah, it is, huh? Do we need to discuss this? No, we can just listen to it. We can listen in silence. The nostalgia of whoever you feel nostalgic for this is, uh... Like, at least Pokemon was, like, catchy, you know? And you can still listen to, like, every now and then, or, like, when it's on, you can bop to it, but... What the fuck were they going with this, bro? Oh, that's the CG! <laughs> this is Pokemon at home, yeah. This is dollar store Pokemon. You put this song up here, come on, eat. Ah! Show's pretty cool. Except for Sinji. You know, you know the reason why. Hospital. Beds, hands, bad things happen. Put in two. Eva, it's it's a landslide, guys. Oh, some classicos. For the visuals back then, like the opening had really good visuals and good art. Like look at the perspective of like a lot of the camera movement, right? And also like the, the landscape as well. I really like um this opening from Soul Eater. This chest is disgusting. I mean, like I said, why are you surprised? There is gonna be a lot of One Piece bias. But I like both series. So I would try to remain unbiased as possible. But you like One Piece more, Hades? That is true. But for this opening, it is probably my least favorite opening. Maybe not, because I haven't heard i haven't listened to all of the one piece openings just yet because i've been reading the manga but it's not my favorite like i'll just say that hey did you capping no i'm not i'm being i'm being dead serious i'm not trying to be different or anything i just i never really vibe with the song like i said i think opening six of one piece is my favorite like actually no no i'll say it right now i say it right now the four kids dub opening one is better than this one i i said it i look i know i'm getting the green i know you're nostalgic you've been listening forever you watch the anime and sub, they spam that shit literally all the fucking time. I get it, bro. Maybe it's because I watched One Piece on Toonami, like, way back then. It just kind of ingrained in my brain. It's just kind of like, I don't know, bro. It's catchy, bro, but it's not better. I think that's what makes it better, though. Quarter store, One Piece. I don't care, guys. I don't care. Bro, I go with one. All right, obviously, One Piece moves on. High School of the Dead. Okay, is this TOS in his opening? Sure. 
surely Twitch cannot ban me if Amaranth's whole streaming career is a thing. I can look at 2D TTs and Tatas without getting banned, right? Surely. Also, yeah, I mean, I haven't heard this opening, but I don't think it's going to win against Gintama opening 13. Like, opening 13 goes so hard, man. All right, Gintama opening 13. Let's go. For the song, goes so dummy hard, bro. Oh my God, just wait, guys. He's like, oh, slow, whatever. Sounds mid. Just wait, guys. Just wait. Bust out the lotion. Bust out the tissue. Just wait. <laughs> what a drop. If this isn't a landslide, uh, I'm gonna have to perma ban everybody in chat. Like, come on. You guys are thinking of the wrong head if you guys are choosing High School DSD, okay? I'm mean, sorry, High School of the Dead. No, no, do not choose one for the boot, but guys, think. Think with your ears. Easily a two from me. And it seems like everyone else is voting two as well. The last round of the first bracket. Oh, another MHA opening? And this one's pretty mid as well. I'm not getting even gap, yeah, bro. There's no way. There's no way MHA is going to beat it. I would put One Punch Man opening one over all the opening of MHA. And I think it's still clear all of them. It goes hard. Opening two from MHA. Yeah, this is the one opening I didn't like. It pales in comparison in its own circle of openings and outside in the anime sphere in general. Being put up against opening one of One Punch Man. Yeah, I mean, One Punch. One Punch Man moves on. Seems like we are moving to the next bracket. So that was the first bracket. It is a hefty, hefty amount of brackets. So now we're going straight to voting. I'll just put up the poll and we'll just vote. One long opening one wins over Overlord opening one by 74%. Fire Force opening one smokes FMAB opening one by 86%. And boom, the battle that was faded to happen. This battle literally could have started World War III. No Naruto versus One Piece. And this battle of Naruto silhouette versus One Piece opening one ended with Naruto wins. That means Naruto's the better anime, better characters, better story. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. If this was a four kids version, it clears silhouette. <laughs> Man, unlucky boys. Looks like One Piece fans have to take the L on this one. Eva easily beats mid HA opening two with a 71%. Beam Slayer against the goaded JoJo opening five. Yeah, JoJo rolls Beam Slayer with a 67%. JoJo opening two one against JJK opening one with a 65%. E Stars opening two versus JoJo opening eight. The result of this match was a 72% victory for JoJo, which means we have three JoJo opening moving to the next bracket. Gintama opening 13's rolled and smoked Rankin of King opening two by a decisive 93%. A contentious battle between Villain Saga opening one versus Black Club opening 10, but Villain Saga barely takes it with a 53%. JoJo versus JoJo, obviously JoJo wins by 54%. JoJo opening 6 clears July in April with the 69%. No, I'm not gonna say it. Okiyas opening 1, the fan favorite to win. It obviously win over Parasite with a 79%. One Punch Man opening 1 beats Bleach opening 13 with a fairly close 56%. Defno opening 1 versus AOT. Opening 1 got AOT winning by 60%. The one song Andy Hunter Hunter absolutely wipes ReZero by 80%. Ukuku's flashback beats out Black Clover opening three with a 65%. Onto the third bracket, these are the top 16 best anime openings. The least favorite JoJo opening, opening six got Dookie by Code Geass Colors with a decisive 73%. JoJo opening five, yeah, no shot to losing to One Punch Man opening one, clears with a 90%. Close battle between Fire Force, Inferno, and JoJo opening eight, but Inferno got the dub with a 52%. Kukuku was putting an unexpected upset against Hunter Hunter, clearing it with a 71%. Venom Saga opening one loses to Eva, but only by 52%. AOT opening one versus Old Lord opening one, we all know who's winning this one. AOT takes it by 71%. Tama opening 13 was golden enough to take down JoJo opening 1 with a 71%. Until the next bracket determined the top 4 anime openings and these last few battles got heated to say the least. The song starts off great but then it slows down. Inferno's kind of lack- uh, What are you saying? I think people like grooviness more than hype. Because this one is hype. It's really hype, right? It's good. It's awesome. If it's catchy, it's groovy, you can jam out through the whole song, right? I think people are going to wait that more. So I think opening 5 is it's going to clear Inferno. Which I mean, I agree with. <laughs> wait, people are voting for Inferno? Wait, you guys like hype more than groovy? Okay, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the JoJo opening. Hold your votes, guys. You guys are pre-jacking. I love Inferno, don't get me wrong, but against JoJo, I mean, that's what I am saying. Yeah, you just can't beat it. You just can't beat this, bro. This is the one that needs to go against Code Geass or Eva, bro. If it go against Eva, it clears easily. Code Geass, very contentious. But if there's any JoJo opening to do it, it's going to be this one, guys. So I, I have my faith. I have all my eggs in one basket. This is the JoJo opening to do it. No way you guys are voting for Inferno. No shot. It's not even like close at all. 60 to 30. Are you guys headphones working? Are you guys speaker working, bro? Like what's going on? You guys are really putting up Inferno up against the fucking heavy hitters. Inferno moves on. Whatever. I mean, do we need to vote? Everyone just press one and just let's just move on. Like fuck, man. You're gonna put this fucking sh I'm not gonna say shit ass sh opening, but like it opening like falls comparatively to that JoJo opening. Oh, we fucked up, man. Wait, why is the vote already swayed towards AOT? Wait, is this an upset I never ever predicted? Oh. 
I'll be honest right now. If JoJo Part 4 opening one was here, clears this opening for AOT. They're doing it because what you said. You guys vote because you either like the opening or you like the show, which I'm not against. I'm not trying to be like, be unbiased as possible, okay? I'm just saying my opinion. If my opinion changes your opinion, okay, so be it. But no one, not everyone in my chat is just listening to me, okay? They're not a bunch of brainless idiots. They have their own opinions. They have their own thoughts, okay? <laughs> Inferno's not gonna win. That's the thing, though. Because it's not a contender. It's not in contention with, like, any other heavy hitters. Whatever, okay? AOT's upset. God. This one's so disgusting. The drop is so vile, bro. This is about to be hot. I, I think this opening's better. I think Gintama's better. I'm sorry, Code Geass stands. Fuck your opening, okay? This opening's better. All right. And Code Geass. Oh, this one's... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Shit. This one's also good. Fuck. Nah. Yeah, no. Gintama's drop is better. Gah! Fucking opening wins. Oh, this is so... Like, visual pops, bang, opening, bang. But, like, I think I like Coco Rose or Coco Cole's songs way more. I don't think I skipped this opening at all, bro. Opening two just bangs. Maybe once or twice, like, the very last few episodes? Oh, man, this is hard. Nah, I wouldn't be upset if Coco of Co loses. I think this is JoJo's last hope, right? I don't think we have any more JoJo openings in contention, no? Oh, Lord, bro. This shit goes, man. This shit just goes. Don't get me wrong. The visuals are good as well. Just Compare, compare it to a JoJo opening. Oi, 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 oi. It's an underdog. I, I'm not going to be upset if it loses. I mean, it's probably going to lose. There's no way it's going to make a comeback. Where was everyone for part four? I don't know. JoJo fans, where you at? Motherfuckers vote Inferno. Like, you got, like, you guys always like Fire Force. You don't fuck with Fire Force like I do, bro. I, Dude, I've been, like, holy fuck. You're about to get me so fucking irate. Like, I have been advocating for Inferno throughout its whole tournament arc until the point where I'm like, it's probably not going to be the final fucking boss of the anime openings. And you're like, no, we're just gonna go Inferno. It's more hype. Eh, eh, it'll, it'll, it'll probably beat it. JoJo opening part two moves on. We have got to the top four openings. Two rounds for um this bracket and the last one, a 1v1. And that is it. Is this the opening to hit top two? No way, no way, bro. Holy shit, JoJo has a... Still a pretty strong lead. JoJo holding the lead for now, but this opening could change the tide for ALT. Oh my God, it's so close. JoJo still holding the lead. I don't think my vote matters, guys. Even if I have a vote ALT, I think it's still in favor of JoJo. So it, my, my vote doesn't matter. JoJo moves on to the top two. And we got... <laughs> Imagine if you guys voted for JoJo. We would have two JoJo openings, right? Two bangers. And it would have beat Code Geass. I'm just, I'm still so salty, man. We would literally have two JoJo songs as a top two. And it'd be going against each other. How funny would that be? Like, I'm not doing it for the memes. But like, legitimately, that could have been the case. I love Inferno. I think I like Inferno more than Colors. Inferno has a small lead over Code Geass. I will eat my words if Inferno wins. Oh my God, the vote's getting so, it's so, it's so neck and neck. I mean, I get to vote, so fuck it. I'm, I'm throwing a vote. I'm throwing a vote for Inferno. This, this drop might ruin it all though. Oh my god, the voting is so close. It's 50-50! It's literally 50-50. 10 second countdown. If it stays like that, we are moving on. Six, five, four. Are you shitting me? Motherfuckers! Three, two, one, and that is it. Inferno wins with one fucking vote. That's an underdog story I'd never expect. It's in the top two. But the funny thing is, it's gonna lose to JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> this is what decides the best anime opening of all time. It's not Eva. It's not Kokios. It's not Inferno. It's not some Naruto song. It's not some Black Clover song, okay? It is JoJo Bizarre Adventure. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I'll take it. Not my personal pick. I wish part four opening one was on here. But you know what? If JoJo is able to beat out all the other heavy hitters, the notable ones, the, the big openings of the decades, I'm happy, bro. I'm happy. As a dub. Now, we got Inferno. The visual JoJo wins. The drop is on par with each other. It's just as hype. I think I like Fire Force openings better. I think I like the, the song. But the opening for JoJo, I think it just clears it because the visuals. The song is good. Like They're like very neck and neck. But like Inferno is just barely over. Just the song. Not talking about visual. Not talking about like anything else. Bro, if Code Geass won the last time, it would have cleared. Okay, let's run it. Let's run it. If you're so confident, all right, you code gas sh shit it. JoJo's the definitive winner. Let's run the poll. I'll throw in my answer, bro. Wait, why can't I vote? I get only one vote. How's that rig if I vote? I don't get like 50 votes. You manipulated voters? How? Yeah, I, I held them at gunpoint to make them watch all of JoJo to appreciate opening two and made them a JoJo stand. I'm just saying my opinion. Not even the best JoJo opening? I know. Not even the best. Okay, you can't even say that. You can't say that's the, not the best code gas opening. Like, what, what, do you, what do you mean? Yeah, it's like, who cares? Like, even at the point, like, I'm just doing it just to do it, but like, code 
Ogias lost to Inferno. There's like literally multiple people in the chat deciding as well. Why are you putting the hate towards me? I only get one vote. Just like the rest of you. Oh, JoJo's in the lead by one. And guess what? Not even the best JoJo opening one by one vote. To be fair, most of the people here just voted on what you voted. That's not even true. That's not even true. It was Inferno versus part four opening one. I said vote JoJo. Vote JoJo part four. Part four opening one is literally going to clear Kogias and Evangelion easily. And you guys still voted fuck Inferno, which is like, okay, that's fine. That's the people's vote. I'm not going to get that mad about it. So I can't do anything about it. You're like Elon Musk when he says something about Bitcoin and it crashes. Same concept. When you're getting financial advice from a fucking billionaire, some people are probably going to listen. What is my credential as an anime watcher? I just watch anime. Am I a director? Am I a music composer? No, I am none of those things. I am just a dude who reacts to anime and that's it. If I say something and if you guys internalize it and be like, hmm, maybe I agree with that, then that's fine. You do that, all right? But everyone here are not just brainless zombies who just listen to everything what the streamers say. Oh, streamers say, pick my nose. I'm gonna pick my nose. Streamer says something funny, low W. <laughs> It is not doesn't work that way. You just end your video before you say something racist. You're right. Good call. JoJo opening two was definitely the best opening of all time for 2022 until other opening comes out, right? I get it. Some of you guys might not like some of these openings and you want to be like, oh, why, why didn't this series didn't get an opening? I get it. I understand that sentiment. I was not the one that created that list. Maybe in the future, if it's like I said, if the video does well, we'll create our own list, add new songs, have only um, one song per series, and then we'll run that gauntlet again.